Okay, everybody, welcome to the May 4th, 2 p.m. Uh, Council Workshop. And unfortunately, it's hard for me to say this, but there is going to be no public comment for this meeting. It's just a workshop for the Council. So, that being said, how are we going to get started with this? This two and a half year struggle. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Okay. Just to throw it out and get us started. Let's get rid of the assessments and we'll just put everything on a levy and be done with it. Go home. Well, you want to make a short meeting of this, huh? Whatever. So that's a suggestion. I didn't make a motion yet, so we can discuss. But. Okay. Phil, it's my understanding if we get rid of the assessment, we cannot bond. I can answer. Could I pass out something because I did sit in with Mike this morning to talk to that? Sure. Oh, sure. So, um, maybe hold your comment until later. Yeah, one of the questions that came up was to answer the question if we don't have an assessment bond, can we still bond? That's for Mike. There's different ways of bonding, one of which one of which one is an assessment bond, um, and that's what this project was designed under. Now, we've done road projects before under general obligation bonds where we did not assess. That's done under Chapter 115, is my understanding. You could still do that for this project, but in any case, you, you need to decide first, do you want to assess, have an assessment project or not? That's a yes or no question. Um, do you want to assess for the project, yes or no? And that determines how you bond for it, should you choose to bond. But you can bond for both ways. Yes, it's under it's different, different statutes. Different methods, thank you. So I want to walk through this thing here and just talk about what I have in front of you right now. The, the, the project cost, as we understand it, is 2537180 Those costs covered by Bowser, the county, and ARPA are a million bucks plus. These are rounded numbers. So the net city share is roughly a million and a half. So according to our bond agent, we'd have to uh, assess 20% to get an assessment bond of the million and a half, all right? Um, the assessment scenario that we talked about recently that has kind of been sent to the commercial and residents in the impacted areas of about $580,000. That's the 579 921. So what have we heard from the residents? Well, it's not fair. No one assessed for the original install of sewer collection system. Why are you assessing us now? We don't want any assessments for residents or commercial entities on the, or there weren't assessments on the original system. So we don't want to lose track of the residents too. Um, in our assessment policy, the amounts of assessments for businesses appear to be unreasonable in some cases when we follow the policy. Excuse me, Dave, could you move closer to the mic? All right. My comment again is the assessment policy sounded great three to four years ago, but not well received by city residents and businesses. And to Mike's comment in the past, we have not assessed road improvements because we have the ability to pay for bonds with general levy dollars. That hasn't been an issue so far. And we have heard complaints about assessing for roads, but for now I'm just talking about this particular project. Some of us has, have looked at the uh, assessments and we've attempted to lower the assessments in response to citizen concerns and complaints. Um, just in the past couple days, I looked at an assessment that charged $5,000 for residents in the bottom of the range, that's the bottom of the range that the appraiser stated, and then 20 cents a square foot for commercial locations. Using this formula, which is at the lowest end, we'd have to assess at least $361,000 in that range. So what this, what this, this look at, you know, these numbers assessed still to the log church almost $41,000. Moonlight Bay's assessment would be almost 30. Moonlight Holdings, 20,000. 
Fraser's would be almost 37,000 and 61 Marine, 14 and a half thousand. So those numbers, they're, they're never going to get down. They're, those numbers seem to be somewhat large in my mind. So my recommendation for you all to consider is that we know, have no assessment as a justification for lower assessments is suspect and appeals would be possible. What we do is we bond for a million and a half dollars using Chapter 11 sanitary sewer bond. We levy the costs of the bond over 15 or 20 years. We can work with Mike on this. This is allowable per Jason Murray. Our payment to the contractor to finish when the job's done will consist of a million and a half dollars from the bond funds, the ARPA and Bowser money, which is 500,000 approximately, which we'll have. And then we're gonna take $500,000 of cash that we have to pay the bill, the two and a half million dollar bill. The, the reason we need to take the 500,000 is the county has told us they'll pay us back in 2024. So we will have to pay the bill and then when the 500,000 comes back, we'll just put that bank in, back in our reserves at the city. I also suggest that we raise sewer connection charges as follows, because there hasn't been any increase in those for over 20 years. Residents would go from four to five K and commercial would go to six and a half or to seven and a half from six and a half K. Um, and then we have to decide if, in the past these connection fees were allowed to be paid over time or if they need to be paid up front. So, this is my recommendation that we just quit looking at this because I don't think the impact of uh, a, a smaller assessment amount is going to still be favorable to the residents or the commercial people and the impact to all of the residents in town is not going to be a lot. It all depends on how many years we finance this one and a half million dollars. So. So that's my recommendation to you in writing, and I don't know if that's something that we can decide today. I, I don't know. So, Dave, can I? Yeah, you can ask questions. But. A question on the log church, Moonlight Bay, the car wash, the gas station, and Dodo. What what are those assessments going to be? Just this straight assessment? That's the assessment that's calculated if we use twenty cents a square foot. So this is the number that's in it. These, these is, assessments right. are going to be... That, that's part of this lower number. Remember, we started with almost 580000 but we dropped it into a $300,000 range. If we go to 20 cents, it's 361383 according to my math, which we want to check. But even then, the number for the log church is 41000 That's so, still a big... Piece. And how much are you going to collect off of these numbers? Have, did you ever calculate that? No, I didn't add these up. But You're just saying the city is going to finance a million and a half and we're going to collect this, but we don't know what that amount is no, we're, we're not. Collecting. We're not going to assess these amounts. Oh, we're not going to? We're not going to. We're, we're not going to assess anybody is my recommendation. So the only thing they're going to have is connection charges with a multiplier. Right, and, and I'm recommending we increase that amount because it hasn't been adjusted for inflation over many years. So no matter how much we charge, it, it's the, the vast majority of the cost to run our sewer system is already and has been paid by all the residents of Cross Lake. And, and there is some merit in considering that when the first system went in, this was done to preserve the lake. The rest of it is going to preserve the lake. I can't tell you what's going to happen when we do another one of these, but this is my recommendation for this one. So, how are you going to handle the? I'm sorry. How are you going to handle the uh, ones that we've already collected from? I think there's one, and that's that's one that we have to one. make a decision on. So. But that's my two cents worth. Okay, so I did a little bit of. If I could add to your list here. Yeah. Um, if we go back to the original 4,000 residential connection charge and we do an up-to-date, I did all these multipliers for the years that the assessment was in, so it's a 143, so that changes to $5,720, 720 more than what you have in oh, there. Okay. Okay. 
And all that does is make it equal from yesterday's dollars to today's dollars. Um, I, you know, I kind of did this scenario where we are going to actually be collecting five hundred thousand dollars. If we, and that's including the, that's just a connection fee, no assessment, just the connection fees. So the residential I had in my count might be wrong. I had 21 residential lots at 5720. That's 120 grand. 13 commercial lots at Where's my commercial lot here? Are you calculating the the connection charges at 4000 and at 6500? Uh well, comes in today's dollars. In today's dollars. So the 4000 converted to today's dollars is $5,720. Also, you're going to change the connection charge to $5,700. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just bringing the old money to today's money. And, and to me, that seems fair. So can I ask a question about, um, are we ignoring our uh, sewer ordinance, saying that we're not going to um, use the classes in there based on Chapter 5576, that, that made it, that made it uh, assessment friendly as far as I could tell. We only would collect 300. We could um, take the, make the ones that are actually residential, residential, and the ones that are commercial down to 20 cents, and the 5,000 sewer base for residential. Um, and then the church would be institutional, so uh, that, that to me, we're following our sewer ordinance, and at some point, somewhere along the line, you're gonna wanna assess, and what about all these, thing, these projects that you've done? We ran into that, um, Manhattan Point wasn't assessed, and then we came along and we said we're gonna assess the whitefish chain, that's what you're gonna run into. Sooner or later, you might as well just um, bite the bullet and, and assess, but assess fairly. And I think that um, one at using the user charges in our sewer ordinance that says to use these classes, and the 20 cents and the 5,000, and the 10 cents for institutional, I think that's a very fair assessment. You might as, sooner or later, you're gonna be assessing. And I, I guess I would, if you, think, if you think 20 years down the line, or 15 or 10, the same, the same thing is gonna to happen to you. You never assessed before. We can't be handcuffed by something 19 years ago. Times change. And um, they do benefit from connecting to the sewer. And the, the citizens are paying 80% of the project costs. And um, so it's not like they're paying everything. They're not. They're paying 20% of the project costs. And the citizens are picking up the rest, 80% of the project. So um, it, is a, it is being... Um, the, the rest of the citizens are contributing to this project. It's just not the people that are being assessed. So I think we need to look at, at the assessment policy. And I think to be fair to assess, the only way to be fair is to use the sewer ordinance and the classes in there, the residential, the commercial, institutional, and governmental. So I, I guess that's my opinion, and I, I really think that... Um, we should be very cautious about uh, just no assessments. We have an assessment policy. You think you're going to assess on uh, road projects after you just, if you would not assess on the sewer project? That's not going to fly. They're going to say, well, you didn't assess uh, Manhattan, I don't know, is that Manhattan Point, Manhattan Boulevard, whatever. Uh, they're using that argument already. 19 years ago, to get the sewer thing going, the sewer uh, system going, 
I guess you maybe you, you could. I just, at some point, you have to just step up to the plate. And 20% is not out of line. And if you use the sewer charge ordinance or the sewer ordinance, I think you can come up with a fair and equitable assessment. That's not really um, unduly burdensome to, uh, to the citizens and the commercial businesses and the church. And if you use that, if you use that um, assessment, while well, we don't have parcel specific uh, appraisals, we do have a benefit opinion and the benefit opinion says 20 cents is the lowest for uh, commercial and uh, residential, I think it was 4,000 or 5,000. So you're at the very low end of the benefit opinion. And they will say, if you, I don't think anybody would appeal it, but because they're fair and equitable, they're not like the, the other ones that were proposed, that uh, if you have a, uh, benefit opinion by a, an appraisal uh, th and um, the court will probably see that as a, a equitable assessment or a fair assessment and not reduce it. And we've been told if they reduce it, as long as we do a good faith effort on the 20% on the of the uh, project costs, we're okay for an improvement bond. Okay, can I finish what I was starting to? I stumbled there for a second, but let me just go through this. So back in the day in 06, Whitefish Lodge, their charge was 82,500. If you do the math on changing that to today, it's 170, 118,000 Whitefish Lodge page. Pine Peaks Hotel was 60,000, today's dollars is 86,000. The assisted living was 84,000, today's dollars is 120,000. Now that was, I believe, a connection charge. That was not what they called an assessment. We didn't have an assessment at the time. So in today's dollars, if we do that, and we do the residential lots at 5720, commercial at 9295, we do the church at 20,000, and we do three specials, moonlight, car wash, gas station, and they gotta be looked at, but around 80 grand, that's $500,000 we're gonna collect. And now it's in the connection charge column. So that is money put towards the sewer plant for a future upgrade. I, I, I don't know why we do that. I don't know why we wouldn't just pay that towards the burden of the line. Then we got a million dollars we got to finance, and we'll take the, the burden of the plant on as it comes. So that's just going back and converting yesterday's dollars to today's dollars following the same format. So, Dave, with yours that you did here, there are no connection charges? There's, there's, there's no, what, what I'm saying is no assessment, but we follow exactly the same procedure that we used when the system was first put in as far as connection charges. So residence was 4,000, and you want to, you know, you want to raise it, which we, we can consider. Um, commercial units were more, but then they looked at the high volume water users, you know, how many ERUs, how many rooms. How many connection charges? Connection, right, and so that, we, that is covered in our policy. You don't have to sit and try to figure out something. We have to still follow the policy for that. Okay, the same so way we did 15 or whatever it was, 18 years ago. The exact, I'm not changing that. I think everybody that I've talked to says, you know, they didn't have to pay assessment, but we paid, they paid uh, a connection fee. And they're saying, we'll still pay a connection so fee. So we'll still pay a connection fee. all that money doesn't go to the debt, it goes to operating the plant. And even with that money, we can hardly keep up keeping the plant operating. We would have to charge 100, how much did you calculate for a, a user fee? It'd be close to $200. A, a month. Yeah. yeah I mean, so yeah. We're not the rest bad. of us, because it's only 50 something, $55, 
the rest of us will continue to pay for operating the plant, fixing it, maintaining it, upgrading it. That's just, it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. We're not going to get out from underneath that. We're not laid out like um, St. Louis Park where you got yeah, a grid. A grid, and the, it's, you can run a block, and you can pick up quite a bit of volume on that one block. So, so this is kind of, that's what I wanted you all to consider. Um, I think that that moving ahead, looking past, look, you know, hindsight's always 2020. No one anticipated that this thing would be as big of a deal as it is. Um, I wish we hadn't gone this far, but, you know, that it, it took it to get us to this level to realize that maybe we didn't do the right thing, so. Do you agree they're getting a benefit? Right. So, um, the rest of the, you're, you're saying the rest of the taxpayers are getting, are paying 80% of the project. They're helping with the clean water already. Right. And then if the, these people are not going to have inspections, they're not going to pump, they're not going to have any capital outlay after they get hooked up, that's, that's a pretty good benefit. Right. Also, Mike, what, how does this affect interest rates on the bonds, the different bonds? We're talking, what, two, three different types? They'll be comparable. You think so? Yeah. See, when you look at a revenue bond, if you think about it, and I've talked with our, our bond advisor on this, you know, if you go ahead and you pledge the revenues generated by the user fees to pay for the bond, that's, that's a false statement. Because right now, the way the plant is set up, we generate about $325,000 in user fees. Our operating costs, not including capital, are about $325,000. So we basically break even on operations. There is no provision for replacements. What I mean for replacements is when you, when you depreciate your assets, you're recognizing that they're being used. And so the connection charge in our case is designed to fix things in the plant when they break, capital items, to, can, to have a stream of funding to pay for that. We have no provision in our rate structure to pay for debt service. Right now, 100% of the debt service, which is about $340,000, $350,000 a year, comes from a levy. And that levy is spread across all taxpayers in the community, including those that are connected to the sewer plant, to the sewer system, and those that are not. And I also would say that the connection should be a flat 4000 for Residential and and uh, flat sixty five hundred for commercial and no additional connection fees. I guess looking at it, uh, the revenue will be generated from those commercial businesses by the user base charges. Anything you know, eight thousand fifty five dollars, and it doubles every time you use eight thousand eight thousand gallons. You know, when you start out, the residential is 8,000 gallons. That's a given. They don't get a water meter in there, but once, um, for instance, moonlight or whatever, you know, uh, I don't know what they use for water consumption because we really never got that information, but um, that's where you're, you're going to obtain your revenue, not this huge connection charge, a one-time charge doesn't make any sense to me. There should just be a $6,500 connection charge for commercial and 4000 for residential, plus their assessment. And the assessments, the residential will be 5000 This is over a 15-year probably bond, right? Likely, yeah. Yeah. So it would be 15 years. And I, would, I, don't, I don't know what the interest rate is right now on bonds, what, what the going rate is for... Uh, bonds that have been sold in the last month or so. Well, that changed early today because the Fed just raised the rate a half a point. Oh, okay. So but what, what have you seen what they're going for? They're between three and the, the payback is between three and five percent. 
they're all over the place is the point. And that'll change based on today. But to, to address your issue on the connection charges, the connection charges are to, the, the user fees are to cover um, the operating costs of the plant. The connect, and so if you're paying more user fees, you're using more of the plant, and that's directly related to your connection charge. Yeah. Dollars are dollars, whether you get it from user or you get it from a connection, um, you still have the revenue. I'm just saying that I don't, I'm not a believer of this, the to be determined column where they get into residential equivalent units and how many seatings they have in the restaurant. Um, I don't, though that's a table in the ordinance. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's what we have to do. I'm just, I'm thinking just the connection charge at 6,500 and just be done with it. They have a, a good enough assessment. If they're gonna pay, if, I really think that they're benefiting from the project and um, should the citizens do 100%? I don't think so. I think 80-20. Mike, what would the cost to the average house in Cross Lake be for, let's say, $361,000 per year? How much extra would that add on? You know, it's a grab sample, but you've got a 15 or 20 year bond. It's got, what, 4,000 houses total or so in Cross Lake? Well, the first thing is we don't live in a community where all the houses are average. Agreed, agreed. And the second thing is everyone's house is a little bit different. Agree. And so you wouldn't be able to take, you know, the increase in what you would need to levy. In this case, in the example I'm talking about right now, if you were to levy for the entire bond with no assessment, um, if you had a... 15-year bond, say $2 million, or going up to $2.5 million for 20 years, there, there's a range there, and that range would fall somewhere between a levy of 140000 and and about, about 220000 And so depending on which option was selected over which term, based on your value, it would impact what each property owner pays. Now, if you were on the lower end of that, you know, you could look at something right around 50 to to $100 would be a, a reasonable range. That's for an per, year. per year. Per year for 20, for 15 years. It, it would all be based on what, what your property is valued yeah, at. Right. So if we plopped on 250000 on debt service on our market value this year, just not changing anything but the 250 it increased it, the tax rate one and a half percent. So like on a $500,000 home, it would probably be in that $75 range. On a $700,000 home, it would be $110 to their taxes. Possibly. It's, it's a, if you just plop 250000 on the 2022 uh, market value and the levy, uh, it comes to like a 1.5% rate increase. So it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, if it's a 500000 home, 1.5%, it's uh, $75. Right. And that's within the range. I so in the seven hundred thousand, it would be the hundred and ten, and I could keep going. One and a half percent isn't hard to figure out uh, based on the value of the home. But that's what that's what um, we'd be facing on tax. So I have, I have just one comment here that that we need to all consider that we haven't so far we haven't assessed anybody for sewer connect for sewers. So we do one. Well, we did one. Okay, let's just, I'll take that back. But we didn't assess many years ago. We did one. As far as connection fees, we've applied our policy to a lot of people. So I'm not proposing that we change the methodology on which we determine connection fees. In other words, just give somebody a flat no more fee 
because then we're going to get calls from you know the senior place and other places we have to keep that the same because we've demonstrated an acceptable methodology to do that what do we charge? I'm just seeing no assessments for this project so what do we what did we charge for connections back in 19 years I think ago Dave here added yeah, a that's, suggestion on that what was your question Marcia? what did we charge 19 years ago for commercial for a connection charged, commercial was 5500 and no more no more than that. Oh well, there were multiples. The hotel and stuff. That's where they paid sixty thousand, eighty-two thousand. Done ERUs. Yeah, right. um, and it went up in '07. It went to sixty-five hundred bucks. Who was the doing? campground? For some reason, got charged one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. And sometime on a different day, we should talk about that. That seems crazy, but but yeah. What did the school get? Is that on it? They weren't there 19 years ago. I don't think the school. She's got the reason. I'm just curious. Oh, God, i got to try to find oh, that's it. That's all right. Let's see if uh, we find something on there. The, the church or the school? school? The school well, wasn't there. It's not in there? Okay. Well, it would my, have been the old. old my my question, house. actually, though, is, is uh, the original bond for doing this yeah, way back, okay, when does that pay out? Because we're still paying on it today. Uh, we've got another year, two years to go on that two one. Years. We paid that off two years ago. No, we'll be in, no, in we'll two be in 2024. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we have to survive through that payment along with this additional payment on it. That's correct. And, and that all comes out of levy. So every, everybody can expect a significant bump in their taxes next year. And if you're one of these people that owns multiple properties, guess what? You're going to get hit. Uh, I know one of my neighbors owns a business, owns a, per, a personal property, a home, everything. He's going to get hit when we've done both of them for, for that. So we'll need to look at a, at a workaround a little bit on that, I think, as well, to try and do something to keep sure, something a little level. But it's a million five is what we're additionally... Oh, we're talking two. Well... I thought we were going to take 500 out of the fund. I mean, the first thing you need to decide is do you want to assess or not? And then that impacts how we do the levy and to what extent. You know, and one of the things you can do is if you look at the timing of when the payment comes in from the county when we get reimbursed, those are real dollars. Um, those could be used in the future to smooth the levy to get you over the, that hump. You could build that into the repayment, or you could repay yourself. Because in, e in either case, you're going to be carrying that cost for a couple years. Yep. But if it's a if it's two million over if it's a million five over 15 years, we're going to add 100 grand to the levy each year, right? I mean, right. plus interest. Yep. Yeah. So it's not the end of the world. We've survived with road projects bigger than this and sewer plan yeah. improvements yeah. bigger than this. We just yeah, those are coming. Right, they're just staged right. No, but they're the com they're coming down the road, and depending if all of a sudden things hit us a little harder, it'll happen sooner than later. Right. right. I think you need to plan for sooner rather than later. So are you going to make a motion? So where do we go from here? Well, I think you have a public hearing coming. You can't make. A decision oh, on that until well, we after. Can't make a motion in this meeting. Yes, well, yeah, we I guess I wouldn't until you had public comment. <laughs> That's no. like then you might as well forget about the public hearing. Can we? You can make motions at this meeting. I know we can. I know we can. That's what he asked. If he could make a motion. I'll make a motion, and we'll just see if it passes. I'd make a motion that we get rid of the assessments. Okay, no assessments. Do we have a second on that? I'll second it. I'll second it. Okay, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Three to two, so is that binding? No, it's, it's not binding. This is a consensus, Dave. We have to do our final vote Monday night. What? What? That's why, why are you doing it now before a public hearing? It's like the, 
people are coming. That's what yeah. we got ripped on. That's the whole idea of the public hearing. Okay. Well, I ask a question. It's, this is a regular council meeting. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm saying you have a public hearing Monday night, and you're going to make the determination now before you have public comment. Doesn't oh, I'm make not any sense. doing it. But well, I'm just. I think that's what I'm saying. I think saying they've yes. had several meetings with public comment already. But I've had a lot of input from the public. I, can I, I can ask you a question? A just crazy. It, if you voted to not have assessments, do we have to have an improvement hearing on Monday night? I don't think so. I would say not. If they're if they're passing I mean, all this of us now, like then you might as well forget it. I would avoid miss then. There's not mind. much left of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you wouldn't really need well, one no. on Monday night, would no, you? No, you wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. We're not, we're not going to listen to the public anyway because we've already done the thing. It, it doesn't make any sense that, we were having a, that we're having a public hearing on Monday night and you're making a decision prior to that public hearing. So, Shari, you can cancel that meeting? Or... Do you want to give any consideration to the public comments that might not agree with this motion? I guess I'm not asking say, you to change it. I've heard lots of comments on all sides of the discussion yeah. over the last three years. You might have people coming saying, we want assessments, we don't want to pay 100%. So for us to be so bold as to make the decision prior to the public hearing just doesn't make any sense. You can still go through the hearing and, and hear both sides and still make, make the same decision, or you can make it today. I'm, and then I think we've made it yeah I think I think you did and then you know just consider how this impacts future projects that's what I've been saying and you don't know you might have a house full saying assess then what are you gonna do are you gonna change your mind just a thought I still would like to adjust the uh, connection fee from yesterday's dollars to today to make it fair across the board. Say, so make a motion, Dave, and let's just vote on it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion. We adjust the 2020 or 2004 original connection fee to today's dollars. Whatever the math turns out on that. I second that. Okay. Who's going to do that math? I'll do it. Mike. No, really, who's going to do that math? <laughs> I, I did it. It's right here. <laughs> Throw those numbers out. No, I, I think we need to have the numbers before we pass a motion on something like that. Well, I, I did do it. Well, I know you did, but... <laughs> it comes on high authority where I came up with these numbers. But originally it was a $4,000 assessment and a 1.43 multiplier converts it to It was originally 3000 in 2004. Okay. 3,000, that's 4,560, it changes it to. And that's a 1.52 multiplier. But it today changes. it's 4,000. Today it's 4,000, so if we went back to 06 and did a multiplier, because that's what it was in 06, it's 5720 per connection. And just so you know, it doesn't change it just for this it changes it across the board because we still have a lot of hookups going on in phase one. I think one. we should just change our money every year to today's money to make it fair. And then there's a residential one too that was 6,500 in today's dollars is 92.95. That's commercial. commercial. Commercial, yeah. Can't we have that in our packet so that we can look at it prior to the meeting instead of I'll give you the copy of the chart if you promise to give me back the original. To give it to Mike. Have him heard of Mike. You're using inflate. You went on CPI index? Comp no, I went on Siri. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I would give it to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Is that her name, Siri or Alexa or something? No. Serious. <laughs> I don't think I have that much faith in it. Okay, well, anyway, anybody can do it. I don't care. That's how I did it. Um, but then we're, then we're fair the way we were in 06 or 04 or whenever it was. But at least round the numbers off if you're going to make a motion on it. At least round off numbers. I don't care if you go up or down. 
Okay, so I make a motion to change the residential connection fee to uh, $5,500. And a motion to change the commercial connection fee to $9,200. I'll second it. Okay, and I guess somebody can verify that and change it. I'll leave that there. So we got a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Okay, four to one, motion carries. Okay. Anything else? I want to make a motion. We convene the meeting. Okay, motion to convene. Second? Being the meeting. Or to end the meeting. I'll second it. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries.